too, I want to ask mm -hmm. you, maybe just in under a minute, how might somebody explain um, polygenism, Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. and original sin? How, how might they combine them together if they were trying okay. to explain that? Two ways that have been tried. One way is to say, okay, there was an original couple, um, and so you have the first, what you could call theologically modern humans. They have a human form, and they've got the full modern human soul that God has created. Each one of them, he's given them a modern human soul. Now, all life forms have souls. That's what keeps them alive. You know, Aquinas talks about how even plants have souls. They have vegetative souls. Animals have sensitive souls. Humans have rational souls. Well, so there were apparently, from the archaeological record, near humans. In fact, um, uh, one of the things that paleontologists are happy to acknowledge, most of them, is that around 100,000 years ago, there were what are called anatomically modern humans. You look at their bones, you look at their DNA, it looks like ours, but, or at least their bones, um, but they don't display the behaviors that uh, modern humans do. Mm -hmm. Then, say around 50,000 years ago, they start acting like us out of the blue. You get all these new cultural innovations. And so those are called behaviorally modern humans. But because biologically the same, you could have a, a behaviorally modern human breed with an anatomically modern human. Hmm. So one way of accounting for how original sin might work is you could say, okay, God took a couple of behaviorally modern humans and gave their children uh, full human souls of the modern rational type. And so they became behaviorally modern at that moment. And that started what paleontologically is called the great leap forward, where you have this sudden evolution in human culture. Um, and they were the first true theological humans, but there were only two. But then because they were behaviorally modern and they had a more advanced culture, their, their, bloodlines came to dominate. And so very quickly by today, all humans are descendants of that original couple, even though they they married with behaviorally modern humans who didn't have a fully human rational soul. They would have had something close to it, but not the same thing. Okay. Um, so that's one okay. possibility that's been proposed. The other is that uh, Adam and Eve, so Adam means man or mankind, humankind, uh, to use the highfalutin politically correct term. Mm -hmm. um, and, but it does in Hebrew, it means more than just a male. I mean, it means both genders. Okay. Um, the, um, and Eve is derived from the word for life because she's the mother of all the living. Mm -hmm. So you have these, char these figures named mankind and life. And you have them in a text that otherwise is pretty easy to show contains some symbolism mm -hmm. in these early chapters of Genesis. So you could say, well, maybe Adam and Eve are a symbol for the early human community, which then as a whole turned its back on God. And that's what original sin was. It was a collective turning away from God by the early human community, even though he offered them um, – original innocence and 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 so forth with him um so you could have just a one couple that turns away from god but that we're all then descended from or it could be the early human community as a whole turned away from god and we're all descended from them those are two ways that have been proposed to try to square and remember i'm not advocating any of these right. ideas i'm just saying these are what people have been talking about um that uh, that those are two ways of trying to square original sin with the idea of polygenism. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.